What is up fellow game fabers? My name is Tyler Potts and welcome back to Muddy Wolf Studios. In this video we'll be creating this dashing um, ability in Unity. So you'll see here we've just got our small character. We added a double jump in last uh, video and this is actually a continuation of that. But as you can see if I, if I now double tap um, A or double tap D um, or double tap um, any character that will allow me to dash then it will um, it will dash as you can see so you can dash left you can dash right and yeah well that's all you can dash to you can't dash up you double jump up so you can double jump and then you can dash in midair or you can dash on the ground it doesn't matter how you dash but you can dash so it's a simple dash it keeps you in the air slides across you can define all the variables um, this is a continuation of my last video so if you haven't seen it yet it'll be in the description if you don't want to see the double jump feature then you can continue on with this video but you may be confused by the script because we're just going to edit the current script on the player so let's get started Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to open up our player movement script. So if you, again, if you haven't seen the last video, you should probably check it out. Um, unless you already know your basics around your movement, your jumping and stuff, then you just want to know how to do the dash, then you can just watch this video. So let's open this script up. All right, so we've opened up the script. The first thing you're going to need is using system dot collection, or yeah, using system dot collections because we're going to be using coroutines um, to delay the um, when we dash. Um, so first thing we want to do is add in a couple of variables. So under here, we're going to have a couple of public variables. Um, the first one being a public float called uh, dash distance, which will be equal to probably 15f to start with. Um, we then need the uh, we need a ball so we need to say boolean is dashing and this will be used to stop our um, script from basically what well, you'll see you'll see in a second so we're just gonna say is dashing which would just be nothing um, we'll, we need a float called double tap time and we also need a key code called last key code um, let me explain what these each each of these are going to do so the first one dash distance obviously going to be the distance we are dashing you can up this or lower this depending on how far you want your character to dash uh, the second one is dashing it's basically going to say while we're dashing basically we're going to do something so this just tells us we are dashing double tap time because this one is mainly depending on how you want to initiate your dash my dash could be by double tapping um, a or d on the keyboard um, a double tap a to go left double tap b to go right and this last one is just so we can say if the what the last key code was because if we double if we press a and then d then it's going to dash right straight away what happens if you want to swap directions we need to know what the last key is to make sure we're only double tapping the one key and not double tapping two keys um that key code is really annoying please click oh my god key code last key code that's it please go away oh it's so annoying i'm just going to scroll away so in the update function we now want to say um, we want to check if we're going to say if input dot get uh, get key is it get key or is it yeah it's get key isn't it get key down and we're going to say key code dot a so this is going to be dashing right so let's add a comment up here say dashing well, left sorry Jesus um, yep <laughs> today's going well uh, the second part is good. we're going to say if and now we're going to say double tap time. So up the top we set this double tap time. We don't want to check if time dot time um, is great or is less than a double tap time. That means we're still within the double tap criteria. Uh, we then want to say and and last key code is equal to key code dot a. So the key code up here, uh, which we're using. And then we're going to dash. So we're just going to say dash. Else, if we if none of, if we don't match these criteria, so if we're not double tapping A and we didn't double tap quick enough, um, we're just going to set double tap time is equal to time. So if this is the first tap, for example, we're going to set time is plus 0.5 F. So what we're doing here is saying double tap time 
is equal to the time plus 0.5f. So this is the amount of seconds. So we have half a second to tap again to actually activate the double tap, else it doesn't count. So if we wait 0.6 seconds before tapping A again, it won't dash. To be fair, there's quite a big time. You probably want to set this to three, but I think for the demonstration, we're going to use five. And at the end of this whole thing, we're going to say last key code is equal to key code key code dot a so this just say oh we didn't say equals so what we're saying here is so oh it's about that wrong that's really annoying ah uh, uh, there we go um so what we're saying is when we press a we we want to check if there's a second tap basically there's what this bit here is doing and we're checking if we're pressing the same key as what is here else we're going to um add the double tap time so this means it's the first tap and we're just checking the tap we're then going to do this for the right. So we're just going to paste this and say dashing right. And we're going to say D, because uh, D is my WASD, you know, the thing. And down here, we also want to say D. So let's create a dash function now. So we're going to say, well, we actually want to say start curatine dash. And we actually want to pass through the value here, depending on which way we're going to be dashing. So this is going to be one. The reason being is we want to times what direction we're going in. So we're going to dash one, because we're, in this one we're going left, which is minus in the world, we're going to do a minus one. So this is going to take us backwards, and I think it's one F, one F. Cool, let's create the, um, so we're going to say void, uh, no, sorry, I enumerator, I e numer uh, I enumerator and we're going to call this dash and we're going to pass through a float which is going to be called direction and we're then going to say is dashing so the first thing we want to say is as soon as you do this we can say is dashing is equal to true um, and then we're actually just going to um, say rb.velocity is equal to a new vector two. So we want to set the velocity and we're just going to set the velocity on the X to the current velocity uh, dot Y. Oh, sorry, dot X, sorry. And then the Y we want to set to zero. The reason being is because we want to stop our player from falling down when we dash. Because when you dash, you're kind of launching forward with no fall. We then want to set a force. So we're going to say add force. Now we're going to say new vector 2, which is going to be our force. And obviously on the x, we're going to say dash distance times by direction. So you could probably tell what's going on here, but all we're saying is, let me zoom this up. Um, we're basically saying if it's minus 1, then this is the opposite direction. If it's 1, then we'll just times it by 1, which is fine. Um, and then the dash type is going to be all the force mode. 2D is going to be dot impulse. So that should be fine. No. What's wrong here? Oh yeah, we need to also give a Y, which is going to be equal to zero, of course. We then want to say float gravity is equal to our current gravity scale because I've set my gravity scale to five. We then want to say RB dot gravity scale and we actually want to set it to zero because again we don't want to be falling down as we're dashing we want to be able to dash in a straight line um, instead of falling so we're setting gravity scale to zero now we want to yield return new weight for sec seconds and this is the amount of time you want to be dashing for so in floats that's 0.4 of second um, and obviously this is going to wait for four seconds and then um, and then it will continue on the rest of this script. The reason we're waiting four seconds is so we can um, keep our character in the air. You might want to change this value or even turn it into a variable up here to say how long you're dashing for, depending, because if you add your dash distance to be quite a big distance, then obviously you're going to be dashing for quite a long time, 0.4. You don't want to start falling out of the sky too early. But... For now, we're just going to say 0 0.4. We're then going to say ish dashing is equal to false because this is the end of our dash. And rb.gravity, oh, what is that? Ish dashing is equal to false. 
my keyboard is really broken. RB dot graffiti scale is going to be equal to graffiti. So the reason we're doing that is we'll obviously this is why we took the graffiti. So we're checking what the graffiti was, and then we're just going to add it back after this. And that's the reason we took it. Now, there's one last thing we need to do, um, which is go up to our um, fixed update. Because we're adding a vector, this is going to affect how it works. So we just want to say if not ish dashing, then do this. So if we're not dashing, then do this. But if we are dashing, what is going on? There we go. Um, then basically continue on with the movement script. So we want to stop the movement from happening when we're dashing. Else you could apply negative forces and stuff, and it'll just be weird, unless you want that to happen. Um, and I think that is it for the dash. Let me just go back through. So we'll go dash left, dash right. We've got is dashing, double tap time and last key. I think that's it. Let's go back to our script. Let's check our player, make sure all the things are set. So we've got our uh, dash distance, which is 15, and that's the only one we actually need. So let's hit play. As you can see, I double tapped A and double tapped D, and you can see we've dashed across the screen. Um, and that's it. So if that's, so you can run, and then you can double dash, and I've shot myself off the screen. But that is how you add a simple air dash or even ground dash, it works on the ground, it works anywhere, to Unity um, in 2D. So it work, the same concepts work for 3D, you just need to know which way you're facing, which way you're walking, you've got a dash in that direction. It's a lot easier with 2D because you've only got two ways you're going to be dashing. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If it helped you, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and keep muddy. Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I